This eschatology is to be articulated in the face of Caesar and his imperial hope. And when Paul uses the word parousia, second coming or appearing, parousia is not an Old Testament technical term. It is a Caesar technical term. It's what happens when Caesar has been away from Rome on a journey or fighting a battle, and he comes back, his royal appearing, his royal and perhaps divine appearing, because by this time, some of the Caesars at least started to give themselves divine honors. And everyone goes out to meet him, to welcome him back into the city. That's the parousia. That's what's going on in 1 Thessalonians 4. Jesus is coming back, and it is at his name that every knee will bow. Philippians 3, where Paul has been saying, I want you to imitate me. And well, he's just been talking about how he gives up his privileges as a, as a Jew, a Hebrew of the Hebrews, and all the rest of it. How can the Philippians give up their privileges? Well, they're not Jews, most of them. But they are, some of them at least, citizens of the Roman Empire. And they all benefit from Rome. He says, I want you to sit light to that. I want you to sit loose to it. Because their God is the belly, they glory in their shame with their minds set on earthly things. But our citizenship is in heaven. And let me tell you, we didn't discuss this this afternoon, though we might have done. When Paul says our citizenship is in heaven, he does not mean, therefore, one day we'll be going there. Because the, how, the, how the whole logic of citizenship works. Rome had founded colonies around the Greek world, some way to the east of them because they'd fought all kinds of civil wars a century before the time of Paul, and there were all these old soldiers out there, and the last thing Rome wanted was those old soldiers coming back to Italy, or let alone to Rome. Old soldiers coming back with too much uh, uh, loot and booty on their hands but nowhere to live are a real pain for a small city that's already overcrowded like Rome. So you found colonies who are citizens of Rome, but colonizing Greece, or wherever they are, with Roman culture. When Paul says our citizenship is in heaven, he doesn't mean, so when we retire, we'll go back there. He means you are the people who are bringing the civilization of heaven into the world in which you are placed. And it is from heaven that we expect the Savior, the Lord, the King, Jesus. Those are all Caesar words. Who will change the body of our humiliation to be like the body of his glory by the power which enables him to subject all things to himself. Paul as often quotes Psalm 8. What is man that you are mindful of him, the son of man that you take thought for him? You have made him little lower than the angels and crown him with glory and honor, putting all things in subjection under his feet. Paul would have said that is the Adam picture and it is also the Jesus picture. And it is the picture because of which we know that Jesus is Lord and Caesar isn't. 